He only ever sells the bling for our inaction. We were warned about things like what's happening running in the Middle East time and again. We were warned about the financial follies of big business and big government. And we were warned about what happens when it when action is not taken to do anything about it. We were warned. And that the Middle East the soil was helping to prop up dictators and terrorist groups. And uh, we should have realized uh, what could have happened at the prospect of massive civil unrest in that in that particular region. I mean, it's it's pretty much simple. If there's fire bombs and bullets flying, the workers can't very well get to the oil. You know, refine it and process it, send it through the pipelines. Or, you know, they can't put it in the trucks or, the, or you know, the ships to be transported across the world. So, as a result, our infrastructure, which is so dependent on this one source of fuel, comes to a standstill, essentially. Or, in the best case scenario, you have a price increase. Unfortunately, this isn't the best case scenario. Combine the inflation and the economic problems. It's gonna hit this country rather hard. Because people won't be able to get to work. They won't be able to buy. We were warned that oil... That oil would eventually run out. And that we could have easily... Put up in place alternative energy resource sources. And as well as refine... The harvesting and as well as uh, the processes to give us power. I'm not just talking electrical power, but I'm talking power for our cars. But no, instead, we don't do it. We were warned that groups would use this chaos as a way to prop up their own dictatorship across the globe. And everybody talks about how we shouldn't fight against it. Well, I'm sorry, but the time for protesting has long since passed. And voting is no longer going to do anything any good about this. I'm starting to think we should have done this a long time ago. Because it's reached that point. The Middle East understands this. And sure, it may cause disruption. But hopefully, the new governments that will be in place will be ones of and by and for the people. If we don't do something now, it'll be too late. We know the chaos that's coming. We know what they intend to do. 
Either it ends up like this, you end up starving, dying in the chaos, or you know, you end up a slave labor, or you know, dying the kinds of drinks you can. I for one don't intend on doing any. I intend to rise up. The time is right. I intend to fight for freedom and justice and prosperity. Now is the hour. Not now, and it'll never be the hour. For if we fa e fail to take action, then we will just lose everything. I forget who said it, but it was quoted. Tyranny triumphs when good men do nothing. And that's what essentially we are doing at this point. I'm sorry to say. We sit, we watch, we comment, and wait. But we can't do that anymore. We can't wait. If we wait any longer, to, any longer, we won't get the chance to do anything about it. I mean, how long is it till you have nothing left, or how long is it that you won't be able to drive to work because you can't afford the gas? But you repair your car. How long is it till your family starts going hungry? Because there's no food left in the grocery store. Or you can't afford the food to buy the food. And to those that continue to act as if all is well. I want you to take a good hard look at what's happening, not just in the U.S., but across the world. The ship is sinking, my friends. And you better plug that stinking leak before it's too late. Or at least get on the stinking lifeboat. So that you have a chance. Now or never.